The research problem seeks to clarify the shortcomings of existing handling methods and governing laws when dealing with buildings of distinct value and listed as historical objects in need of preservation, as well as to emphasize how current laws and a lack of proper treatment methods are the primary causes of deterioration of such buildings, necessitating the intervention of a different strategy to address the failure of the current traditional handling methods. Egypt has such a great legacy including the historical buildings that are a real gift but unfortunately, most of the projects that aim at keeping those buildings were undertaken in a wrong way without adding a real value. Those projects resulted in distorting the historical buildings. The research will display such historical buildings in Mansura city as a case study. The research aims to use contemporary technology methods and materials for historic buildings on the Khediva Ismail Palace in Mansura, Egypt by using rehabilitation tools and methods for spaces and forms of computational architecture that simulate conventional and local forms to add new activities and functions. That new function will create a source of income which benefits and supports the development of the community on the materialistic, cultural, and economic levels. Thinking about reusing the historical buildings will contribute to enhancing the economic and social aspects for these buildings and for their surrounding region. The methodology of this research depends on three major approaches. The primary approach, the analytical approach, and the practical approach. The primary approach displays rehabilitation definition, rehabilitation processes, principles of retrofitting, rehabilitation advantages, rehabilitation tools. The analytical approach displays the stages of the proposed design strategy by authors. The practical approach displays an applied study through developing the Khediva Ismail Palace in Mansura city in Egypt. Rehabilitation definition. Rehabilitation means the reuse of outdated buildings by giving them new uses through the application of modern materials and technology and the introduction of contemporary solutions to the historical structures without compromising their historical identity. The three processes of rehabilitation are renovation, adaptive reuse, and remodeling, in order of increasing intervention. Renovation allows minor modification in building architectural characteristics in a way that prevents further deterioration and achieves building sustainability. Adaptive reuse is a procedure that transforms a useless or ineffective item into a new one with multiple uses. The created adaptive reuse for historical initiatives that respect and preserve the building's current layer, which adds value for the future, is the most successful. Remodeling is the process of updating an existing structure to meet modern requirements, frequently for purely aesthetic motives as opposed to practical ones. The building's historical, architectural, and cultural significance is frequently disregarded. The research presents the rehabilitation of historical buildings through adaptive reuse in which includes principles of sustainability. These principles of sustainability are reversibility of the intervention, compatibility of the materials, guarantee of structural safety, minimum cost, respect for the cultural value of the building. Rehabilitation has benefits and is more efficient than reconstruction. Rehabilitation advantages could be abstracted in five aspects. Environmental, rehabilitate the original building's embodied energy much more environmentally sustainable a construction. Economic, return the costs for its repaired economic state and quad. Cultural, reserve arts of architecture and monuments. Social, contribute the livability, sustainability of communities, keep identity, and social roots provide new housing and commercial property opportunities. Innovation, presents a genuine challenge to architects and designers to find innovative solutions commercial property opportunities. According to the tools described above, examples of international projects that have been rehabilitated were presented to support the tools used in the case study. The Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, Canada by architect, Daniel Leibskind. Dresden Military History Museum in Germany by architect, Daniel Leibskind. Port of Antwerp in Belgium by architect, Zaha Hadid. The paper displays a design strategy to deal with the historical building which are allowed to add modification. The proposed strategy divides into three main stages. The data, compilation stage, in which, the current conditions of historical buildings are investigated and recording. Them through set of items, building established date, the original name, the, original owner, the building site, the architectural style, materials, structural system, building area, stories number, original function, etc. The planning stage, in which the building data which has been documented in the previous stage, is analyzed. 
through sketches and drawings illustrate site analysis, and the surrounding environment. Then, the new project requirements are selected, and based on that, the appropriate, or a sustainable use is selected. The intervening stage, in which the designer offers innovative, solutions match the project requirements and its surrounding environment based, on a philosophical concept achieves the integration between the historic architectural, style and the contemporary architecture. The proposed strategy will be applied on the palace of Khedive Ismail Pasha as a case study of the rehabilitation of one of the historical buildings in Egypt. The motivation behind choosing the Khedive Ismail Palace as a case study is the unique location of the palace in Mansoura city, and besides, the historical importance of the building. By applying the proposed strategy on the case study, the first stage of the data compilation has been abstracted in the following table. The second stage of planning has been represented in field study and site analysis through Building location map Building view The historical buildings adjacent to the target region Buildings layout Circulation of the urban environment paths Khadiva Ismail Palace is located in Mansura city which belongs to the Dakalya Governorate. It is about 130 kilometers away from the Egyptian capital, Cairo. When focusing on the Khadiva Palace, we will notice that the three buildings gather on one straight axis. The axis is perpendicular to the Nile, so the building's facades overlook the Nile. Many historical buildings surround the Palace of Khadiva making it a special historical area in Mansura city. The building and its accessories consists of three buildings. Khadiva Ismail Palace 1. Khadiva Ismail Palace 2. Khadiva Ismail Marine. The main paths that surround the Khadiva Ismail Palace are Gamuria Street, Gaya Street, Muktalat Street, and a train track. The intervening stage includes two main steps. One the design concept. Do the function solution. The main target of restoration is to reinforce the historical value of Khadiva Ismail Palace in Mansura City by focusing on the architectural style of old buildings and merging it with a new modern form. Therefore, the design concept follows three directions, order, form, and materials. The order effect has been represented linear mass connects the three buildings where it simulates the old bridge of Khadiva Ismail. The form considers the cultural, social, and economic requirements, to express the periods of deterioration, colonization, and neglect that the palace was exposed to. The materials of the new modeling are reflective aluminum and glass to reflect the old facades of historical buildings in the region, to achieve this integration between classic and modern architecture. A building gains additional dimensions of investment and is given a new life because of the use of modern construction technology and the rehabilitation of its historical structures or by adding extensions that are suitable and safe to the original structure using the tools previously classified in the methodology of this research paper. Mansura city has a lot of historical buildings which belong to different eras. These buildings suffer from neglecting and passive rehabilitation. This paper studies one of the most famous historical buildings in the city which is called Khadiva Ismail Palace. The deterioration phenomenon of historical buildings is a natural result of a variety of factors, the most important of which is the lack of flexibility in managing these buildings. The new modeling links the three historical buildings with each other to simulate the old bridge by contemporary character through deconstructive form and using materials of aluminum and glass to reflect the other surrounding historical buildings, besides, keeping the external facades of palace buildings and inner plans with new reusing for spaces. The historical buildings become a tourism and investment attraction that supports their new purpose and supports their visual image by incorporating contemporary concepts of architecture into the addition of new structures to the old building. The applications of rehabilitation, methodologies and tools of reusing the historical buildings are beneficial to all parties such as the owner and government agencies through investment and tourism, not applying new ideas and innovations to preserve the civilizational and cultural legacy will be lost from the identity and culture of the region and subject to disagreement between the owner and the government authorities, using materials, a long life cycle as structure and functional aspect by technological features too suitable usage. This project is in high demand to build and retrofit a historical building in Mansura city related to its historical events in this era, for new uses of historic structures to be compatible with important values and sustainable development, it is necessary to identify and select the tools and methodology of rehabilitation. 